told as a creator when you start is how heavy gear is. We all love the idea of putting content out there so people can see it, they can like it, they can share it. Now, as a creator, I can't travel without my cameras and lenses. To give you an idea, I went on a trip to Poland recently for three days and two nights. And to go on that trip, I needed to take with me spare clothes because it was a work conference and I legitimately couldn't wear the same clothes every day. Just a bit weird. And I also couldn't travel to a different country without my tech. And this stuff was as heavy as my suitcase with clothes. My little suitcase with clothes. I'm going to reiterate this point. Come with me. Which is a Canon R10. Oh. 250. An extra lens. A roller. That's just the main stuff. It doesn't even include the extra stuff you have to carry as a creator, like filters, a battery chargers, rechargeable battery packs, cables, and all that other stuff, like spare batteries. I mean, I don't know about you, but I would like to be able to leave some of this stuff at home or make it lighter. My camera's not gonna get any lighter. I'm using an R8, so that's not gonna get any lighter. So something has to give in this process as a creator. And I think, the best thing to give in might possibly be the laptop. So for anybody wondering why I've come out and about to talk about a laptop, why? It's portable. I carry more tech than ever. I've got two cameras, batteries, lenses. I don't want my laptop to be heavy. And I think the Surface Laptop Go 3 could be the answer. Okay, so my skateboarding skills might not be as good as they used to be. This is better than I am at skateboarding these days. And the fact that it has enough ports for someone to on the go is ideal. It's got USB A, USB C, headphone, and it has its own dedicated charger. But you can actually charge this through USB C as well. It's got fast charge with up to 80% in an hour, which is if you're on the go and you're a portable content creator, that's really quick. And it will do up to 15 hours of battery life. So realistically, this will last on plane flights, train journeys, while you're hiking mountains, out on skateboarding days. It's not massively big. I mean, it's portable, it's lightweight, and actually this thing's got a lot of power. It's got up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it's got stuff like cloud storage, so you can offload your photos and your videos to the cloud and you can access them from desktops or wherever at home with OneDrive. So actually I think this might be the new way to go with laptops. Okay, so I think I've reiterated that this device is plenty light enough several times. But one of the things I haven't mentioned is the fact that this device is also touchscreen. Now, we're so used to using phones and devices that are in our hand these days. The fact that it's touchscreen is a massive bonus for me. And also, it has a fingerprint scanner. So I can literally just scan my finger and it opens. Don't have to worry about face or anything like that, pins, fingerprint scanner, boom, and you're in. And I can literally just start editing my photos the minute I get back to my car. Okay, as you can see, I've got some photos preloaded into Lightroom. And because this is touchscreen, I can either use the trackpad and the mouse if I want to, or I can literally just start editing this with the touchscreen, which I really, really like. The fact that I can just use my finger to make the adjustments for my photos while I'm on the go, in my car, obviously not driving, on an airplane. I can do this anywhere in a device that's this size 
Like, the device is literally this size. The thing is, this device is tiny. And to top this off, I can actually sit and edit this video that I'm filming now. That's pretty cool. With the built-in app that this has called ClipJam, it has free editing software built in so I can start editing with. I don't have to worry about Premiere Pro or any other software. Microsoft supply a free editing software called ClipJam. That's not a bad alternative. So I've got footage loaded into ClipJam. Now, is it as comprehensive as Premiere Pro, Final Cut, or DaVinci? No, it's not. But it will work for travelers that want to edit quick vlogs or videos on the go. Whether you want to do reels, shorts, or you want to do like a long form video that doesn't take loads of color grading or doesn't take loads of work. You just want to edit your scenes together so you can put them out. This will work. I mean, it's working right now. Like the footage I've recorded skateboarding is in and it's working. It will probably work even smoother if you're a mobile creator as well. So if you're a mobile creator putting mobile footage in, I, this is going to work so good for you. Just a mobile, a gimbal, and this. Oh, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with this. Did I need to do that last section in the car? No, I didn't. Of course I didn't. But it emphasizes the fact that I can use this anywhere. Like, anywhere. Look how small this is. The touch screen is 12.4 inches. I mean, it's smaller than any other laptop I've ever owned. And it will do what I need it to do most of the time. Those times that I need After Effects, will it do it? No, probably not. Because it's not designed for that. But it is designed for lightweight creativity. And it will do it really well. If you're a mobile creator or someone that just wants to film and put stuff out quickly or edit photos, this is worth considering considerably lighter than the other laptops that I use.